a couple of miles down the road from where I live in South County Galway, you come to this little harbour. It's been there for about, oh, I don't know, 200 years. Um, and it's still in active daily use. It's a busy enough area. There's oyster farming and there's a few cows taking it easy in their field, not too far from the harbour. There's always a few boats. They're the same boats day in, day out, year in, year out. And I have drawn them a great many times. So today I'm going to tell you how I drew this little scene one of so many that I've done, but there might be some useful tips. So I'm using a food a pen, which has a 55 degree nib. It's bent at a 55 degree angle. And I'm using brown ink. I'm just carefully putting in my lines, I take my time, think before I put in each line. And lines that don't carry as much weight get the skinny nib treatment using the reverse of the nib got blue ink in this pen. I usually have a few pens with me. I don't really change colour very often so instead of that I just have different pens. Look at the way I've done the joints between the blocks. See the way they're parallel to the slope of the seawall and that way you get the feeling that, well I suppose you get the feeling that they're realistic. Add a little bit of texture as I go. Very, very old rock. Don't know how it's still there after being battered by the sea all these, well, centuries really. Now, I do find that the food a pen with dark brown ink is ideal for seaweed. And there's always seaweed around where I live, which is where my scribbly technique comes in. Now, normally I start at the foreground and work my way back. But for some reason, I started at the back and made my way forward. So I'm using the blue ink again to draw the boat in the foreground. And again, I'm using different colors of ink and different positions of the nib to get different effects. The base of the boat is this Naples yellow mix and it, it's to kind of get that feeling of old algae stained fiberglass that's so typical of that type of a little little boat. I'm using a kind of a, a blue and Naples grey mix here for the reflection and the reflections are always darker than the item being reflected but not that dark so I've mixed in a bit of Naples yellow into the reflection colour and everything gets reflected. Here I'm adding some burnt umber to the scribbly seaweed bits and of course the beauty of Diatramentis document ink is that it's completely waterproof. Okay I've changed colour again this is a grey ink and this one is Urban Grey, also document ink by Deatramentis. And I'm using it to just add a little bit of, I suppose, shadow and a little bit of, of definition to some of the bits and pieces I've already drawn. And I'm using it to fill in the shade under the bridge so that when I do put paint on, the job is half done. So I've added a little bit of blue for the boat in the foreground, leaving the top unpainted. And you can see the boat behind it through the windows. 
And when the paint is completely dry, I can add those little, those little lines to show the, the strips of wood. Some more, the more ropes tethering the boats to those stone bollards on top of the seawall. Getting those horizons in and I'm trying to capture the light on the water by just putting the sea on in horizontal strips, leaving white bits in between. Sea and bodies of water are never easy at the best of times. But just be creative and you'll get there. More scribbly bits, adding loads of texture to the seaweed. That's my son there. For some reason he decided to, to imitate Rocky at the end of the pier. Um, he was wearing a great tracksuit. Um, so he did a few sort of air punches standing on the end of the pier and sang the song. Of course, you have to sing the song if you're doing that. So what could I do but sketch him in quickly? He was gone in a flash, but he was there long enough for me to capture him. Tides come in a little bit. You have to be quick with the tide. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you picked up something useful from that. Tides are great to draw because they do change, but not that fast. Don't forget to like and subscribe for loads more sketching videos.